Hello, welcome to the Memento M. Cristo channel. Today we are going to share. Route 1 Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife, and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the name of his two sons Malan and Chelion, Ephrathites of Bethlehem Judah. And they came into the country of Moab, and continued there. And Elimelech Naomi husband died, and she was left, and her two sons. And they took them wives of the women of Moab, the name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelled there about ten years. And Malan and Chelion died also both of them, and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law, that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Why she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother, house, the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead, and with me. The Lord grant you that you may find rest, each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice, and wept. And they said to her, Surely we will return with you to your people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, why will you go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb, that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have an husband. If I should say, I have hope, if I should have an husband also tonight, and should also bear sons. Would you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? No, my daughters, for it grieves me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord is gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice, and wept again, and Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth joined to her. And she said, Behold, your sister-in-law is gone back to her people, and to her gods, return you after your sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to return from following after you, for where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge, your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, will I die, and there will I be buried, the Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part you and me. When she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking to her. So they two went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass, when they were come to Bethlehem, that all the city was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And she said to them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full and the Lord has brought me home again empty, why then call you me Naomi, seeing the Lord has testified against me, and the Almighty has afflicted me? So Naomi returned, and Ruth the Moabitess, her daughter-in-law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Root 2 And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Let me now go to the field, and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said to her, Go, my daughter. And she went, and came, and gleaned in the field after the reapers, and her hap was to light on a part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. And, behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem, and said to the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless you. 
Then said Boaz to his servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moabitish damsel that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came, and has continued even from the morning until now, that she tarried a little in the house. Then said Boaz to Ruth, Hear you not, my daughter. Go not to glean in another field, neither go from hence, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let your eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go you after them, have I not charged the young men that they shall not touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels, and drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face, and bowed herself to the ground, and said to him, Why have I found grace in your eyes, that you should take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said to her, It has fully been showed me, all that you have done to your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, and how you have left your father and your mother, and the land of your nativity, and are come to a people which you knew not heretofore. The Lord recompense your work, and a full reward be given you of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings you are come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for that you have comforted me, and for that you have spoken friendly to your handmaid, though I be not like to one of your handmaidens. And Boaz said to her, At mealtime come you here, and eat of the bread, and dip your morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and he reached her parched corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not. And let fall also some of the handfuls of purpose for her, and leave them, that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until even, and beat out that she had gleaned, and it was about an ephah of barley. And she took it up, and went into the city, and her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned, and she brought forth, and gave to her that she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said to her, Where have you gleaned today? And where worked you? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of you. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she had worked, and said, The man name with whom I work today is Boaz. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord who has not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said to her, The man is near of kin to us, one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moabite said, He said to me also, You shall keep fast by my young men, until they have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said to Ruth her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that you go out with his maidens, that they meet you not in any other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean to the end of barley harvest and of wheat harvest, and dwelled with her mother-in-law. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like.